So in today's video, we're gonna have a look at the decentralized exchange landscape. This is an area of the market I think will catch serious bid as we continue this bullish momentum. We've done it previously in other cycles as we have alt seasons, new participants enter the market, and of course they need trading venues. The more feet we get through the door, the greater the price of the tokens for these decentralized exchanges goes up. So this is a playbook that's played out previously and I think it will happen once again. There's gonna be specific emphasis on QuickSwap in today's video. If you wanna learn how to use QuickSwap, maybe bridge some funds over there and all that good stuff, come and check out these videos just down here that I made a few months back. That being said, if you're new to the channel here, make sure you subscribe, turn on those post notifications and check out the pinned comment down below. So what we've seen over the last 24 hours is something a bit crazy here. We've had, of course, meme token mania, and this is fueled a lot of people to start getting their hands on exchanges. As a result of this, Coinbase has become the number one app on the App Store, overtaking TikTok. And subsequent to this as well, we're seeing Crypto.com jumping into third after a Matt Damon advert. So crypto exchanges being downloaded on apps right now, that is super bullish for this market and the amount of momentum entering here and new individuals to the space. So as we get more retail participants in here, they're gonna of course start on these apps as a first port of call, but they will start to descend upon other venues. And looking through the AMM or the DEX landscape here, we can see a few things. Uniswap, of course, is the number one. This is based on Ethereum, but essentially this is gonna to be too expensive for the vast majority of people to actually use during this bull run. The gas cost right now is 125 guay, costs around 100 bucks to make a swap on uni right now. So for the average Joe, they're not gonna be trading on that venue. So this leaves them to go to other chains. Binance Smart Chain with PancakeSwap potentially in second. SushiSwap is pretty much chain agnostic at this point, which is a pretty good place to trade some tokens. And then we're seeing the DEXs on other major blockchains like Phantom with SpookySwap, and of course Polygon with QuickSwap, also very likely homes to get serious attention and a lot of usage. So first thing to note here is if you have tokens that are Ethereum based, you may find that they have also been listed on other blockchains as well. Typically we see a lot of the ETH based popular altcoins also over on Binance Smart Chain and tradable through PancakeSwap. So it may be an idea to start bridging some of your tokens to other chains where it will be cheap to actually trade as this bull market progresses. But what we've seen over the last week or so is that we've seen a real uptick in price action for some of the biggest exchanges here, the likes of Curve, the likes of One Inch, both making major moves in the market. We've also seen AnySwap up 53%, SpookySwap up 43%, and it does seem like the tide is turning in the favor of exchanges right now. So in terms of my exposure to the exchange-based landscape, I'm in a load of different places. On a centralized exchange front, I've got FTT tokens, I've also got Woo Network tokens, but on a decentralized exchange basis, I own some SpookySwap, QuickSwap, and some spirit swap down here. So we're primarily gonna look at these three, but with an emphasis on quick swap here, as this is the one I've added to most recently, because I think this is well overdue a big pump as the Polygon ecosystem is really ticking up here. So this is the Polygon chart. It was one of the first runners out of all the layer ones to go bananas. And in April through to May, it went up almost 10X, which was an awesome rate of return for all investors. Since then, we've kind of come down through that summer lull. And then we had that nice run in August, up to around $1.75. Since then, in the start of October, we were only at around $1, $1.20, but over the last two weeks, we've seen a real uptick in price action here for Polygon. And now the chart of Polygon, the Matic token here, mirrors that of QuickSwap, their number one DEX. So here we have in April slash May, a big move up, and QuickSwap went from roughly 150 bucks all the way up to 1,600 on a wick. So over a 10X there. And then similarly from July up to August, it goes from around 200 bucks up to 800 bucks. So a 4X return. But since then we've had the slow meander down, but we're only just starting to form a bit of a base here. And it's just starting to tick up once again. So if we just look at those two charts, Polygon seems to move earlier than quick swap and Polygon over the last week or so has just gone on a bit of a rampage here and will be pushing towards all time highs very soon, I expect. And then QuickSwap seems to be lagging behind. So in my viewpoint from here, 
I'm in Spirit, Spooky, and Quick. Which one am I going to add to? Well, Spirit and Spooky have just both pumped like crazy, so it makes sense for me. Identifying this trend here that I want to put some more funds into QuickSwap. Also to add to this, the previous all-time high for QuickSwap was roughly 1,600 bucks, so it's 71% off of those highs. And I think it'll be able to break the previous all-time high by quite some distance over the next few months, current market cap $162 million. And we're gonna go into some of the fundamental reasons behind this towards the end of the video, but let's just have a little look at some of the exchange features and also some of the competitors here. So in terms of the exchange features, we have limit orders available. So this means that if you've got tokens on the Polygon network and you want to maybe establish a nice cash out plan, and maybe you want to sell some Yomatic tokens at $3.05, I've put as an example, but maybe you want to go to 10 bucks. You want to sell 100 tokens at $10. While well, you can set this up on here, it does use a third-party solution here called Gelato, but these limit orders have been working. I have tested these out, and this means you can set up your trades and forget about them, something that is a major advantage over Uniswap right now. So this will be a very helpful feature to use. Also to note, the cost of transactions on this network are literally one cent or less and those transactions are paid in the matic token as it is the gas of this network now the quick swap token itself is used as a governance token but it also captures value through a profit share scheme so governance will help you to vote on parameters of the the marketplace and take part in any substantial votes for the protocol there's a total of one million in supply of these quick tokens of which 361,000 are currently in circulation. So not a massive float on this one, but what you can do with these is also stake them for that profit share. So this is putting them into the dragon's layer. So how this works is you deposit your quick tokens and in return you're given D quick or dragon's quick. So for every 1.28 quick you enter, you'll be given one D quick in return. And when you want to unstake, your D quick will be converted back into quick tokens at what will be a higher rate. This rate is just going up and up and up. It started at one and it will just continue to go up as this is how they capture the value here. Now the value is captured through fees. The trading fees on this DEX are 0.3%. Of that, 0.25% goes to liquidity providers, then 0.04% goes to us stakers of the quick tokens, those DQuick holders. Then the final 0.01% goes to the QuickSwap Foundation. So if we look at the analytics here, you can see over the last 24 hours, half a million dollars have been taken in fees, approximately one sixth of that goes to the quick swap stakers. And what we've seen previously is that this DEX can do volumes in the billions when we have a very frothy market and lots of new retail participants like we saw around April and May time. This will significantly boost the amount of fees and thus the amount of rewards given to the stakers. We can also compare this versus some of the other DEXs I've mentioned. Here on Spooky Swap, the fees are very similar, about $500,000 over the last 24 hours. Even though Spooky's volumes are quite a bit higher, 1.3 billion over the last week, whereas QuickSwap is at about 650 million. That's just because Spooky charges lower fees, 0.2% on trades. So in terms of your revenue generated for holding the token, it's actually a bit more profitable over on QuickSwap. And then we have SpiritSwap also has a 0.3% trading fee. Fees generated over the last 24 hours, $130,000. The volume a little bit lower than that of both Quick and Spooky Swap. So Spooky Swap has the biggest volume of all three, but the fees are very much comparable to that of Quick Swap, and both of them find themselves in a very similar ranking position here with one another, which seems to be fairly valued in my opinion in terms of their relationship between each other. And then we have Spirit Swap doing less numbers and thus the market cap is also lower. But both of these chains, Phantom and Polygon, are ones that I expect to grow quite a bit quicker than many of the other chains. Hence the reason I started to invest in these. I think there's a big opportunity for these chains to get more traction, quicker network effects, and grow a lot quicker than the likes of maybe Avalanche and potentially some of the Solana-based DEXs as well. So if we look at the daily volume here of QuickSwap, Yesterday, $200 million in trade, give or take a few bucks. And if we look at yesterday's trade for Trader Joe here, it did $267 million. So roughly $67 million more 
than Quickswap. If we want to be precise, it did 73 million exactly more, but the market cap of Quick is 162, whereas Trader Joe is roughly 2X that at 320. Now, I'm not personally in the Avalanche ecosystem. My funds will only spread so far, and I prefer to go for more density in some of my bags rather than be spread out across absolutely every chain like you may see on other channels with people with a lot deeper pockets. You don't have to be absolutely everywhere. You can just respect the fact that some of these other chains are going to have real winners on there, but you simply can't be positioned everywhere in a decent enough size to make a difference to your life if things go up like you think. So then if we look at DeFi Llama for some other stats here, you can see the market cap to TVL ratio on these various DEXs. And from this, you can read that the lower the ratio here, the potentially more undervalued that protocol is. So this is a decent metric to have a look at, including maybe your investment thesis to see exactly which ones are potentially undervalued versus the rest of the pack. And you can see the likes of PancakeSwap, fairly high reading 0.75, but Uniswap has an extremely high reading of 2.45 here. And if we just run through the list here, the standout candidates really are Trader Joe, 0.13, Sabre on Solana there, 0 0.03, Quick Swap down here, 0.21, Spooky Swap, 0.26, and we can also see Spirit Swap down here, 0.32. Some of these other ones on random chains like Tron are ones that I just would not touch as Tron isn't the most decentralized of chains. So at current, I have some Spirit staked as in Spirit gaining some of these fees generated from this protocol. Then I've got some quick swap staked as D quick, getting some exchange based fees and also spooky swap again, accruing some fees by staking the token. Plus I've also got those staked boo tokens farming some phantom right now. So my play is more of a picks and shovel across this industry. And out of these three DEX plays that I've got, this was the most undervalued in my opinion right now. And so this is the one I've been adding to. Now onto the fundamentals here. This was a recent blog post just a day ago, welcoming Sandeep Nalwal to QuickSwap's advisory board. He is the COO of Polygon itself and has helped out tremendously with the inception of QuickSwap as the number one DEX on this chain. So as part of QuickSwap's birthday extravaganza, we issued a governance vote asking to allocate 1.25% or 5,000 Quick tokens to essentially pay Sandeep to become part of the board here. And what they say here is they want to establish an all-star advisory board that will help QuickSwap on its journey from newly born DEX to a behemoth DeFi competitor. So this tells you that in the pipeline, they've got more plans. They want to integrate a load of DeFi tools to the arsenal, maybe borrow lend, maybe some options, something like that, you never know. But it seems they have a lot more in the pipeline that they want to bring out, which is super bullish. During a bull phase of the market, you want these kind of good news events to be rolling out. So they've just added Sandeep from Polygon onto the advisory board. They're paying him 5,000 quick over a two year period, I think it is, it's roughly $2 million. So it says, looking back, co-founder Sandeep has played a huge part in QuickSwap's development. He has the strongest connections of anyone in the Polygon ecosystem and brings substantial business and technical advisorship and valuable business connections. Very interesting as this relates to the second article we will jump in a second. In our first year, Sandeep and indirectly the Polygon team introduced QuickSwap to hundreds of projects, dozens of exchanges, and many major investors in institutions. Q. Mark Cuban. He was also introducing QuickSwap to Aave and many more. Now he's officially on board, Sandeep will continue to do more of the same great work, spreading adoption and awareness of the Polygon leading DEX, QuickSwap. For reference, Quick has 119 active exchange listings, whilst Matic has 620. Imagine what could happen with even more major exchange listings. On top of his extensive network of business professionals, he knows traders, institutions, etc. He'll also be advising on development, community, and sharing the growth strategies that work for Polygon. There are some big programs and campaigns that will be coming over the next months, which will help bring this to life. So we can see here the quick token is kind of lagging behind Matic, which has just broken out. We expect this to follow suit. And we also are seeing that there's very bullish things potentially in the pipeline here, which they will announce very soon. As they say, they won't just post announcements of announcements for the sake of it. But we do know this, Coinbase plans to adapt 
Polygon into its scaling solutions. So the fact of the matter is ETH is too expensive to use and Coinbase wants to make it their goal to integrate the Polygon network so that users can get onto it very simply. So this move marks a first for Coinbase's protocol team attempting to reduce high gas fees and long settlement times. This integration with Coinbase also allows exchange users to withdraw directly onto a supported L2 solution. So you could take your funds from Coinbase and put them directly onto the Polygon network network. An exact date for the L2 integration has not been made public, but this will help level the playing field so retail users don't get priced out of being able to participate in the budding ecosystems. And we know that QuickSwap and Polygon are both already listed on Coinbase, so having a direct withdrawal function onto the QuickSwap DEX is something I believe will come in the pipeline and that will be super bullish to gain even more traction onto the Polygon network and precisely quick swap that number one DEX. So retail are here. They're gonna be looking for various exchanges to come and play with. And it looks like this could be a potential leading one. I'm covering quite a few bases here. I've also got Pancake Swap on BSC. We got those Phantom plays. And of course this Polygon play here as well. So as the herds arrive and they're gonna be exchanging, making swaps and all those good things, I hope to be in a position where I can capture some of that value. Brief side note before we sign off here, go and check out the Champ price chart. After that IDO launch, it has not dumped whatsoever. There are no token unlocks for two months for this one, and it's a sub 2 million market cap gaming and NFT coin right now, and this looks kind of bullish in my opinion. So there we have it, our Polygon plan of action here. Add more quick swap, get those staked, and wait for the herd to arrive and profit off the back of that. And then we'll have funds on the Polygon network that post this big bull run that we're all expecting, I'll be able to cash those profits into stable coins and yield farm on that network as well. If you enjoyed the content today, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the pinned comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.